Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my roast butternut squash soup. It's a perfect soup for this time of year and it's really simple to make. It really, there's hardly any time that you're involved in it. It's just a matter of cutting up a few items, right, throwing it into the oven and then that's it. The next step is really just throwing it all into a pot and blending it with some stock. So we'll get underway. We'll first of all get our squashes ready. So I just cut the top and bottom off. And then this is the safest way I find of cutting a squash. It's just go halfway down and then because we've cut off the bottom, we have a nice flat face and right through. And I make it, I make this in quite large batches, so I'm using two squashes here. So we'll just repeat that process. Just scoop out the seeds. It's easiest to do this, I think, with a spoon. Can of course keep these seeds and you could roast them and they're great to sprinkle on top of the soup when it's ready. That is the squash ready. And I've got a couple of onions. I am just going to chop the top and bottom off of them and then have them. I'm not taking the skins off. It'll be easy to peel off when they're cooked. And I have four cloves of garlic, which I'm not peeling either. Give everything a good drizzle with olive oil. Help it roast. Should I open the oil? Why I love to do this is that you get a real depth of flavor from the caramelization that happens when you roast this. Um, it just takes about an hour in a hot oven and a 200 degree oven. As soon as your squashes are tender, you're good to go. Um, and also, the garlic cloves, they sort of almost steam within their skins and you get a really mellow, sweet garlic flavor. This is perfect, this is ready for the oven now, so that's me free for an hour. <laughs> My vegetables have had their time in the oven and they are lovely and tender now. Um, so it's just a matter of combining them now and blending into a thick velvety soup. I'm just going to cut the squash into thirds to help it puree it might be wise to let this cool a little <laughs> the mince skin and all there's so much flavor in that and when they're simply boiled it's peeled off and got rid of so that's it just slip the skins off of the onions. And the garlic just squeeze them out of the papery skins. So sweet. cooked like this. I have a litre of hot stock. Just pour that in. And then so all I need to do now is to blitz it. Use a blender or whatever. <laughs> Okay, that 
that's it, blend it up. So just bring this back up to simmer again in the soup and um, have a taste. Check it for seasoning. Needs quite a bit of salt. A little pepper. works wonderful. Anything that's kind of tangy, blue cheese and buttermilk. Um, I love, just before I blend the soup, it's to add a little bit of a uh, smoke, cooked, smoky, smoke, streaky bacon, and then have some extra that's finely chopped to sprinkle on top. And then other times, I like just a scattering of toasted pumpkin seeds on top. I'm going in. It's absolutely delicious. As always, you'll find the recipe on my website. And there's a link also down below. And please, if you like this video and want to keep up with all my recipes, please subscribe and turn on the notifications below. 